Hello all my friends, this is Gilles. I thought I'd come and say hello, wish you a good day, and I hope you find you, you connected to the joy, to the freedom, to the, 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 the happiness that, that is already yours if you're tuning in to this inner energy, to this inner self, to your inner guidance for the spirit will always show us that this point of light before us. Um, for I wanted to discuss the relationship between the spiritual ascension path and religion. For there is only one spiritual ascension path, yet there are many religions. For religion was essentially given to man to, to keep him aligned, for he was revealed at a time of great darkness, while the world was very polarized in order to, to keep man on the track, to, to, to help him to, to not do anything immoral that would, uh, that would through the law of laws and effect, God knew that if man do a immoral thing, he will have to pay for it. <coughs> and so, so in some sense, he was, he was the stick. Huh? God was saying, well, don't do anything wrong or I'm gonna, you're going to have to face me. And, and for all, it's actually uh, something that had makes sense. But in a sense, all true religious people are seeking two things. Is to, one thing is to be elevated spiritually and to get closer to God. For that is uh, that, that, but right now, the, the, in this new age, in this new time, divinity is re it accessible. When you turn within, you can find this divinity. Everybody can find this divinity. So all the old tools are no longer necessarily valid because once you tune into the living presence of God, you find a more, much more direct presence and much more direct guidance to what is right for you in relationship to the highest good of all, in relationship to the way of the Christ. That is the, the regardless of religion, the unconditional love and conditional forgiveness, brotherhood among all beings, all men and women. And, um, and so, so because the, the, the only true religion is love. There is nothing else but love. That is the love of God is the only truth that, that was before the end and will come. That was before the beginning and will be at the end as well. For, for we, we have been given this gift of the I am presence. For I am, I am always grateful to my I am presence. I'm really eager to, to move into this fusion, to this point of connection where we always be together. Because the more I know and, and realize about this, this great spirit that is the, 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 the pre-personal spirit of God, the more I see that he is, um, he, he, is, he knew the, the, he knew everything before the, the, before creation and he knows what comes after creation. He knows the past, the present, the future. He already dwells in the cycles of eternity and infinity. And so for now, we, we at first when we are ignorant, we have to always balance the human nature with the, the, the darker side, the, the demons, as Socrates used to say. Uh, but, but as we move into the ascension path, we have to balance out the divinity with our human, human aspect. For when we discover divinity, we want to move there because we know this is a state of grace of total joy, total freedom, total happiness, total abundance. But we always have to deal with this human nature, this cellular nature that brings about this akash, this, those cellular memories. And so we want to be ease, easing up on ourselves. For once, so meditation is essential to steal our mind and to, to steal ourselves and to open our mind to receive the energy of spirit. But once we are connected, um, we are connected to this essence and this divinity. We always in a state of receptivity. We do not no longer need to meditate all day. Uh, yet meditation will always be useful to discover even deeper aspect of ourselves. For the whole universe was created for the evolution of consciousness. Everything is for, for there is no uh, there is no run, we, the things may appear to have no sense or reason or or outside of our consciousness. But everything is was created as one one thought. The whole universe is just one thought, an eternal thought that keep on unfolding. And the path the path is about descending and ascending and descending and ascending. This is an eternal process. But every time there is a growth and and lessons are being learned. Sometimes I, I feel like I'm presenting my thoughts and ideas here as small ideas, as my own personal ideas. But in truth, uh, it's it's like I'm committing the sin of, of an excess of modesty, because it's not it's not just my ideas, it's not just small ideas. It is eternal wisdom, and and, and it is the truth. So all those things are aspect of the truth that I'm asked to to be revealed here, and and it is something that I'm, when I read this book of an author that's so marvelous, it's so sophisticated, so, so, uh, so gracious, so, so cool. So somebody who's got an immense culture is Michel de Montaigne. And I thought that the only thing when I read this book, I thought he was too modest. He was always too modest in relationship to all his great, uh, for, for, in relationship to, to, to the truth that he was revealing. And I feel like I'm doing that. So even in modesty, you don't want to be too modest, although it's better to be too, too humble than not humble enough. 
stay humble, but, but not to be too modest. Uh, it's important to, 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 to acknowledge the power and the truth that is being revealed from within. And we have to stay flexible in relationship to so many things. Yet there are certain things we cannot be flexible. It is our, our, our principles. We have inner principles. Our higher principles, our virtue, certain things. Although this, even that, has to, we have to, to balance out with this divine nature that is pure and uh, that is pure and eternal to the, the this human aspect that is uh, temporal and uh, and, uh, and and not always uh, not always in in a total uh, total state of bliss because we have all those memory this akash, we have to transmute so much so many energies. And so, but so we have to decide to, to realize what, what we need to be flexible upon and, and certain things that we cannot compromise our own, uh, our own values. I want to tell you, eventually we're going to discover all, all kinds of natural medicines that will, uh, that will completely eliminate so many of those illness that we're still living today. But, but, in, uh, but for that, we're going to have to sacrifice the, the great profit of the big, big pharmaceutical because, because it's like a vitamin C when you listen to the, the medical um, profession. They, they've been taught and they will tell you that more than two grams of vitamin C can undamage your kidneys. When in essence, I don't believe this is true. If, if people would eat five to ten grams of vitamin C every day, they could never get sick. But that would mean that uh, all the pharmaceutical would be bankrupt in, in, in a matter of years. And then all the, the, the doctors will, 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 will lose their, 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 their all uh, for, for health, we have to decide if we want to keep people medicalized or if we want to return to the state of health. It's the same thing with war. If, if, we, if we make a world of peace, then all the guns dealers, the, the, the creator of all those weaponries, will also have to, 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 to let go of a lot of their profits. And so so it's, about, it's about those choices that, that are coming up. We're going we're gonna to have to, to, to see what has more value for us in terms of society. Uh, for we need leaders, we don't need followers. And when you turn within, you receive an inner guidance and you are able to lead, to, to show the way to others, to, to show them the way back to, to their own inner self. And, and, and that is really essential. For a lot of light workers, have fallen into the trap of, of finding their mission to denounce all the plans of darkness as if those plans will not succeed, but they spend their time in to, to trying to inform everybody of all the scenarios of the dark, but they, they're actually promoting all those scenarios. They're giving their power and, every, and sending it to all the people to, 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 and that creates more fear and confusion than anything else. So focus on joy, let go of all those principles. It would be far better if they would not continuously, um, for, of, of course, sometimes we, we see some very dark and we need to bring it up to the, the forefront in order to evacuate it uh, but it, it has to be done in less than 15 seconds it's not about doing it for two hours or even 30 minutes so so evacuate evacuate all that do not give your power to those dark forces the victory of the light has been assured and so as you trust that you, you no longer even envision the possibility that it's just some remnant of the old programming that are still running. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a duck. You know, when you cut its head, it will continue to walk for a little bit. But the duck will eventually, if he doesn't have his head, he's not going to walk very long. So it's it's what it's what is really happening with this dark, um, with all the dark scenarios. And so when we want this to turn within, this is actually the the conjunction of Saturn and Mars is assisting us in finding this own inner power. And so this, this pandemic is a great opportunity for all government of all nations to build bridges and solidarity for this, uh, this uh, to work together uh, to, 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 to reinforce the, the, their connection for it is not a national-wise, uh, this transformation of the, this, this global, it's a global transformation that is happening. And so it is important to, to, uh, to stay global, to stay, uh, to stay attuned to, to, to the vision of the future already. And your future, your freedom is, is essential in that process. For same thing with money. Money is, is very is at the is at the core, is at the core of what is going on for every um, the, the whole monetary systems and economic systems are being shaken up right now. But money is, 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 is great. Money is wonderful. For mo receiving money is a beautiful experience. Spending money is a beautiful experience. So there's nothing wrong about money. It's just people have put money above God, above the... the, the and so when, when there is no, uh, no respect, when there is no God, there is no respect. And some people will do some, some terrible things in the name of money. Uh, money, power. For money, give them power. For money is not God. Huh? It has its place. So 
when you receive money, thank God. And when you when you receive money, you, it comes from God. And, and when you spend it, spend it in the name of God. And, and money will find its right and proper place. For for I started as an art dealer. I love beautiful things. I love luxury. I love comfort. I love all those things. But my principles, my 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 God self is is far more important to me than any of those physical manifestations. Yet I understand that. It is absolutely necessary in order to be comfortable in this world. And so, uh, so I thought I'd come and say hello to focus on, on those, those, this divine light that, you, that is within you and to focus on that. And for when you connect to, to your I am presence, you will see this I am presence is never in confusion, is never in fear, is never in doubt. It's, it's always, it already sees where it wants to lead you into this point of freedom to elevate your consciousness. And so... Uh, well, I hope this message was interesting for you, for this is a great masquerade. Huh? For in France, we, have, we don't have those masks, so it's like a masquerade. For everybody, will be ready for Halloween. And for Halloween, everybody will have their mask. And in France, we, 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 we criticize the, the, the veil of Islam, but now it's like everybody's going to have to wear those veils. It's kind of funny. Um, and also another, another thing that cures, uh, that seems to be a protection against the virus is a press card. When you have a press card, you can try, travel anywhere. You don't have to, you don't have confinement. You don't have to, 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 to respect the, the, the distanciation and journalists don't get sick. And so, so and, and they have this strange, this, this very strange statistic that people that smoke are, are not affected by this virus. Kind of a strange statistic. I'm not sure I should say that. Don't start smoking because of that, of course. I just quit smoking, so I'm still... But it's getting better, so I'm like, uh, uh, well, I've been working on this this process of cleansing yeah, for a long time, but now it's 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 been anchored. I feel like um, feel a lot better already, and so I'm gonna pull a few cards. For the past is the last laugh, the future. It's the ability to, to, be, uh, to, be, uh, to, to look at the future. The only way to look at the future and not being afraid of the future is to laugh about it, to, to laugh at all things, to find this humor in all things. For the, the future is the unknown. We, we were not afraid of the future, but, but sometimes we're afraid of the unknown and we do not know the future. And right now there is a lot of um, uncertainties that is going on in the world. And that's why right now the situation is the threefold riddle. It's a riddle that cannot be solved mentally. For this deconfinement will be a lot more complex than what they think right now. And so it is not, it's, it's about letting go of all the mental process to go into the heart, to find the love and to be guided by this light to, 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 so that we are elevated above all those. And, and what will, will come in the, as a result of that is asylum, is the ability to elevate ourselves. The, the horse has been elevated, it is able to rest within the tree. So it does not find, it is not a logical thing to believe that a horse can be elevated to find rest inside a tree. What we're, uh, what we're working on right now, the process we're going on right now, is the tree spirit. It's called Yakshi. It is the principle of growth. It is a principle of being anchored in the, in the earth. It's a principle of growing towards heaven. It's a principle. It's all the principles of life, this tree of wisdom that is growing. And the outcome will be a total shift. It's called a solar return. It's an, an eclipse. It's really a... It's really a, a <clears throat> A turning point. Huh? We're really going into a turning point, a brand new, uh, a brand new, uh, brand new cycle that will be before us. So. Stay, stay connected to, to your highest potential, the path of joy, the path of ease, the path of grace, and ask that your, your destiny be fulfilled. Well, I hope this resonated with you. I'm going to sing a song that seemed appropriate. It's uh, the song talks about a spring cleaning for the May Queen, huh? the time where. All are one and one is all. So we're moving into this. Uh, it's a song from the 70s that's actually manifesting now, a song from Led Zeppelin. And it's the stairway to heaven. And, and here we have this stairway to heaven. It's a, actually a, 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 it's called Jacob's Ladder. Somebody that's like surfing and he's like he's holding the light of truth and he's got this lad Jacob's Ladder that comes out. And this painting is a is about the, the when the, the infinite spirit activated the, 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 the activated the, the, the mechanism of of the universe outside of the central paradise and the central universe where the energies were, were sent and mobilized and turned into those great big galaxies so it's like a, it's like a, before the beginning, eh? it's like this great dynamic spiral uh, with the Trinity it's that symbol of the Trinity at the center. I'm going to sing this song and pull one more card. It goes like this. There's a lady who's sure all that glitters is gold. 
and she's buying a stairway to heaven. When she gets there, she knows if the stores are all closed. With a word, she can get what she came here for. Ooh, 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 ooh. And she's buying a stairway to heaven. There's a sign on the wall, but she wants to be sure. Cause you know, sometimes words have two meanings. In a tree by the brook. There's a song birds who sings. Sometimes all of our thoughts are misgiven. Ooh, it makes me wonder. There's a feeling I get when I look to the west and my spirit is crying for leaving. In my thoughts I have seen Rings of smoke through the trees And the voice of those who stand looking Ooh, it makes me wonder <clears throat> And it whisper that soon If we all call the tune Then the piper will lead us to reason And a new day will dawn for those who stand long, and the forest will echo with laughter. If there's a bustle in your hedgerow, don't be alarmed now. It's just a sprinkling for the May Queen. Yes, there are two paths you can go by, but in the long run, there's still time to change the road you're on. And it makes me wonder. Your head is humming and it won't go in case you don't know. The piper's calling you to join him. Dear lady, can you hear the wind blow? And did you know your stairway lies on the whispering wind? And as we wind on down the road, our shadows taller than our soul, there walks a lady we all know. Who shine white lights and wants to show How everything still turns to gold And if you listen very hard The tune will come to you at last When all are one and one is all To be a rock and not to roll Not to roll, not to roll And she's buying a stairway to Heaven. Wonderful song, of course. Sometimes when we walk on down the road, our shadows taller than our soul. So it's about accepting this human aspect uh, and not to be in judgment of ourselves. To know our soul is always there, always, uh, always uh, ready to step in as soon as we, we let go of all this, this human conditioning. And the card of the day is a regeneration. We are being regenerated. We are being transformed. We are being elevated. And so allow yourself. It is beyond the conscious mind to, to, to understand. We just got to accept it and go through the process. Well, thank you very much. I wish you a wonderful day. And I'll talk to you later. Namaste.